Hey guys, I have had such an interesting day to say the least. I wasn't even really planning on recording today, but just with the events that have happened, I figured I might as well do a freaking story time. So today I moved across the country from Wisconsin to Arizona into my new apartment. I was all excited, still am, happy to be here. This is my new apartment by the way, this is my bedroom. It's going great. I leave with my family up to the cities, get to my flight, I'm on Delta. Notice on my ticket that it's um, saying, it says seat assigned um, at basically just says they'll assign you your seat when you check in for the flight where you scan the barcode. I was like, okay, that probably just means I'm the last to board and that a bunch of people are doing this because I was a cheapskate. I didn't want to pay the price to pick my own seat. So I just figured, oh, that just means you get a random seat. No, bitch. So they say, okay, everyone can board now. Who's ever left? You can all board. I get in line and I go to scan my barcode waiting for them to give me a seat number and they're like, um, ma'am can you stand over off to the side and i'm like a bitch what so then i'm standing there and everyone has boarded the plane at this point the girl who's helping me she's asking her boss she's like yo blah blah, blah like and then i was just like i swear to god if i cannot get on this flight the lady helping me she was like um you know you're on standby right and i was like no <laughs> And she's like, did you just book this flight? And I was like, no, I booked it a while ago. And she's like, oh. So she and her boss figure something out and I'm able to get on the flight, thank God. And thankfully I was put, so where first class ends, I was the seat right behind first class. So that was pretty sweet. Cause I was like in the extra comfy area compared to like the normal comfy area. So there's like normal comfy, extra comfy first class. I was extra comfy in the very first row. So that was lit. But then this is where it starts getting hectic. I land and everything's going good. I get my luggage. I go to the south curb, which is what the direction said because I was planning on renting a car. So I went to the south curb. I'm waiting for this bus shuttle to the car rentals and like they're all flying by, but none of them are stopping. And I'm just like, what? And I waited there waiting for one to stop, but none did. So I was like, okay, I must not be in the right area. Even though in the directions for the car rental place, it clearly said go to the spot. So I was just like, okay, you know what? I'm going to walk around, see if I can spot anyone else like doing this. I keep walking. I ask for help and the lady's like, oh, I don't know. Try asking another worker. And I was like, so then I go see that there's this shuttle area on the other side, like the opposite direction they told me to go in. And so I just went over there, got on a shuttle, and I was crossing my fingers it would take me to the right place. It took us to the right place. We get to the car rental area, or I get to the car rental area. All the car rentals are empty except for the one that I am renting from and it has the longest line ever and I'm like are you kidding me so then I'm waiting in line and I'm like shit this is actually moving really slow so I waited in that line for an hour and 40 minutes I finally get up to the guy no okay I'm in line next one to be called up I read the sign and it says um you can only I read the sign and and it says, you can only use your debit card if you have a return flight. And I'm like, well, I don't have a return flight. So I told the guy that who was helping me, he was like, okay, so we're gonna have to use your credit card, that's fine. And I was like, well, I think my credit card is pretty close to maxed out. And he's like, okay, well, you should just try it. So I tried it and to surprise, it was maxed out. So I was like, oh God, can we do anything? I have debit, I have cash, what can I do? And he's like, you can do nothing. And I was like, are you kidding me? I waited in this line for almost two hours and I got no car. It wouldn't have been that big of a deal if I could rent at other places. But because I'm only 19, that was the only place at the airport that would let me rent. So then the guy was like, here, why don't you try this car renter? I was like, are you sure they can rent to people my age? And he's like, yeah, yeah. And so then I go over there, I wait in line, get up to the guy and I'm like, hi, can like I rent? I'm 19. 
routine and he's like oh that's gonna be an issue and so then guys i can't tell if i've seen the boy toy i used to talk to okay so anyways he's like yeah we can't rent to you let me try and call a couple other places see what i can do so he calls two places and those won't rent to me either so i'm like well fuck what am i gonna do well i say that in my head because i don't like to make my issues other people's issues so i was like okay no big deal so then he's like hey if you need the uber pickup area is out to the left down the elevator and i'm like okay great i go outside find the elevator and he said go down to a visitor parking lot i shit you not i went up and down this elevator like four times because i could not figure out where the fuck i was supposed to go i would get to the bottom and it would be all stairs everywhere i had a heavy suitcase a huge carry-on my heavy backpack and it's like yeah i'm not taking stairs to anywhere i can't with all this stuff so then i kept going back up and down trying to figure out where i was supposed to go i was in this elevator with the lady and I was like, yeah, I'm trying to go down. And she's like, oh, it won't go down any further. And I was like, what? Are you serious? My bad. And she's like, are you lost? And I was like no but then when she got out of the elevator i got out i made sure she went far enough away and then i got back in the elevator to go back in the direction i was going so yeah i had an awful time with that and then they decided okay i can't uber from this place because i can't find the uber pickup area so i got on the shuttle back to the airport by then i called this place and i was like yo can you rent till 19 year old i have a debit card and he's like yeah come in we close at four and so i was like great so i got back to the the airport i ordered an uber i got there and it looked like the most run down place ever and i don't know what i expected because like if you're gonna rent to 19 year olds like of course it's not gonna be that bougie it was good like i got i got the job done quick and fast there so i have no complaints really but um the car i got literally looks and feels like it's about to break down any minute but like it does the job so i'm chill with it it's just that a lot of it's broken and like rusting off and dented and looks like if you sit down in it too hard it would just fall apart but it's okay it's giving me places we're chilling so then anyways i finally get back to my apartment and i'm like okay i gotta get inside the apartment and my roommate who moved in before me he's like just follow the blue arrows so i follow the blue arrows i go to like try the door that the blue arrows lead to it's locked so I am chilling outside my apartment building, what seems like forever, trying to find a way in. And someone finally walks out. I run and grab their door and I head in and I finally get access to my room. I settled in, whatever. And I head to my storage unit where all my stuff is, all my stuff. Okay, so on the way to the storage unit, I was really timid driving here because I've never drove somewhere so busy. So I kept missing turns. So instead of a seven minute drive, I made it like, 15 minute drive yeah it was yeah so then i get to my storage unit first off i have the access code on my phone and i'm looking at it but instead of punching in the access code i keep punching in the account number and i don't realize that so i go into the front desk and i'm like yo it's not working so she's like what code are you entering and i tell her and she's like that's the wrong code and so i was like oh my gosh i'm so stupid so then I go back, actually use my right code, finally get in. Everything's J chill. I walk up to my storage unit. Everything's normal. I go to undo my lock and the lock falls out in my hand into two pieces. The lock is not supposed to be in two pieces. And so I'm like, this is interesting, but I didn't really think anything of it. And then I opened my storage unit. All my shit, gone, except one lamp. I'll insert a picture here. But um, I guess the reason I'm like smiling about this or like laughing or joking is because this is so surreal. My day has gone so badly that it's not even all hit what all has happened. And just the fact that all my shit's gone, of course that would happen to me. Yeah, trust me. After I found out my shit was gone, I ran to the front desk. I was like, yo, my shit is gone. And she's like, okay, well, file an incident report. You need to call the cops. You need to file a claim with the insurance. And thank God I got insurance. Right after that, I was on my phone with my dad. And I was freaking out. I was like, 
daddy yo all my shit is gone i don't even know what to do like i don't care that all like okay i do care but it's not the fact that it was stolen it's the fact i don't even know where to pick up from now now i gotta make a game plan figure out everything that was stolen i gotta get school supplies again I had calculators i had my books and now it's all gone and there's a kid outside on the balcony next to me. <laughs> but anyways, I have no clothes, no hangers, no bath supplies, no cleaning supplies, nothing anymore. No bed supplies. I just, no lighting, nothing. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna pay for all that shit again. It's just like, wow, this is really not what I needed, but like, I guess no one needs this, so yeah. That's how my day went so far. I have shit to get. I guess I'm just finally taking a break and yeah, just j chilling in my apartment for the first time. Um, yeah. I haven't really ate anything at all because I've been overwhelmed with everything. I should probably go get some food. I might get Qdoba or Chipotle. Also, one of my roommates is bringing a dog. Can't wait to meet that dog. That will be the highlight of my day. Um, yeah. So, I just don't even know what to say anymore. I guess I'm just gonna leave it at that. Okay, peace out guys. Thank you for listening to my story time, seeing how great of a time I'm having right now. Oh look, my mom is calling. I should probably pick that up. Bye guys.